So this time this is a 5 element UHF Yagi for the amateur one 70 centimeter for Mr. Joey Panganiban of Lipa City, Batangas So this is designed for 439.350 transmit frequency and 434.350 receive frequency so let's check the antenna configuration so we have the antenna mounting we have a feed point which is an SO239 connector attached to the RG8 coaxial cable the SO239 is directly coupled to the boom so you just need to tighten the nut at the other side and secure the connection by tightening the nut and the PL259 connector each element is attached to the boom using an element holder the elements are secured with two screws from top and bottom of each element so I'm going to put the numbers on each element with their corresponding numbers or position on the boom. So you just need to put back the elements with their corresponding numbers on the boom. So this is a Gamma Machiagi. We have the initial tuning. This is the tuning stub. You just need to put back the tuning stub. I'm going to put a uh, marking tapes so you just need to put the tuning stub in between those marking tapes so this is the SO239 feed point just tighten the nut to make it fully secure on uh, to make it fully secure on the boom so this is a PL259 connector attached to the coaxial cable which is an RG8 coaxial cable going to my nano VNA antenna analyzer so I'm going to use the nano VNA and the computer for frequency analysis or frequency response of the antenna so first let's check the nano VNA The reason why I use the computer for this place is to make sure that the frequency read out is as close as possible to the frequency that we are interested for this antenna. So this antenna is for uh, 439 megahertz, 439.350 megahertz transmit so the nano BNA uh, display frequency resolution is a little bit inaccurate due to the limitation of the LCD display so that's that is the reason why I use the computer so let's check the frequency on the SWR on the receive frequency which is 434.300 in this case as we can see on the top of the screen the SWR on that point is 1.7 at minus 11.69 dB antenna reflection coefficient or return loss with impedance of 80.9 ohms so this is pretty usable as receiving antenna less than 2 is to 1 SWR on the receive frequency so let's check the transmit frequency which is 439.350 
position we have 439.300 SWR is 1.19 or 1.2 and then a reflection coefficient is minus 21.21 dB at impedance of 58.9 ohms so let's check the readout on the computer using the nano VNA saber application so we have the marker at 433.340 that's pretty close to 350 this is the marker readout still showing 433.300 DSWR is 1.687 or 1.7 as return loss of minus 11.843 dB the impedance is 83 ohms same on the nano BNA uh, readout so we have the marker 2 which is the green one at 439.351 this is pretty close po to 439.350 so the frequency that is being displayed is 439.4 this is rounded up so our DSWR on that part is 1.198 or 1.2 at impedance of 59.5 ohms return loss of minus 20.91 or 21 dB so marker 3 is 440 we have blue the BSWR on that part is 1.231 as we can see on the screen so this is the blue marker so let's make the BSWR pop out from the screen and re size the screen so that it will be much clearer so as we can see we have the green marker on the screen which correspond to 439.351 at SWR of around 1.2 Same with the blue marker at 440, pretty close to 1.2, still 1.2. And the red marker at 43, 43.344 at 1.6 or 1.7 SWR. That's above 1.5, so around 1.5. 7 so this antenna is uh, ready for ship out and going to Lipa City Batangas for Mr. Joey Panganiban so thank you for watching until next time